Welcome back to the End Time Remnant YouTube channel. I am Dorothy, and in this video, I am going to talk about something that's been on my heart for quite some time. Um, a couple of months ago, I actually made a video about how to identify false teachers and prophets, but I felt led to revisit this topic. Um, and this time, I want to focus solely on false prophets that are breeding uh, literally like roaches on YouTube. This video is a warning. Okay, this video is definitely a warning. Um, it is being created in love, um, but it is a warning to those of you who have become very dependent and can't seem to go a day without getting a prophetic word from some YouTube prophet. Um, here's what I want to establish first. Whether you are saved or not, the Lord can speak to you however and whenever he chooses. Okay, you do not have to be saved in order to hear from the Lord. You don't. You are his creation and he can speak to you whenever and however he chooses to. If he has a message for you, trust and believe you won't miss it. You will not miss it. The best way to know if you are in the perfect will of the Lord is to get your information from him. Not by seeking prophetic words from people that you really don't even know. People who may seem one way on YouTube, but live a completely different lifestyle off camera. Brothers and sisters, spiritual discernment is essential during this time. One of the most important reasons why it's so important for you to consistently read and meditate on the word of God is because it gives you an understanding and an inside look to the character of God, right? As you read about his encounters with the major and minor prophets, more times than not, there was a formula to the prophecy. Encouragement and warning went together, right? So the Lord would say, uh, people, I am warning you that if you don't stop doing this, um, that this will happen. However, if you do stop doing this, I will bless you with this. Um, you have to read it in order to really understand. You need to be weary of any prophetic ministry that never seems to have a word of warning. We are living in just about the most evil days and sin is abounding like never before. Any prophet that doesn't have a word of repentance or correction for the people right now is highly questionable. Yeah, we want to hear awesome things from the Lord. We want to hear his plans to bless us. We want to hear what he's got planned for us, right? Jeremiah 29, 11 says, you know, I know the thoughts I have for you, thoughts to give you a hope and a future. You know, we know that he has plans for us and we want to know what they are. That's all fine and dandy, right? But more important than what's going on in this realm, God is concerned with your eternal being. If you are saddled with sin, if you are not in right standing with the Lord, if there is just a ton of stuff that you need to be delivered from, God is concerned with your soul first, not your new house, not your new spouse, not your new car, not your new promotion, not prospering your business. All that stuff's coming to an end. What doesn't end is your eternal soul and where it's going to rest. So he's most concerned with you coming home to him. So if you're up to your eyeballs in sin and you're constantly receiving prophetic words about blessing, something doesn't add up. And I'm just telling you how it is. I'm just telling you the truth. If the prophetic ministry you follow on YouTube has a video every single day and sometimes multiple times per day claiming to have a word from the Lord, you need to get into the prayer closet and ask the Lord to give you confirmation that this person is operating in the Holy Spirit. God is absolutely no respecter of persons. 
So you need to make sense of why these people hear from him multiple times per day, but he has nothing to say to you personally. Do you believe it's because they're super saved? Do you believe it's because they're holier than you? Do you believe they're more important to God than you? This is not so. As I said earlier, God can speak to you at any time about anything, however he chooses to. These people are not closer to God than you. They're not more important to God than you. So how is it that they got a word from him every minute of the day and here you are struggling to get one? Think about it. Many of them are operating in the spirit of divination. They speak things that are technically true, right? Technically factual. Let's do it like that. Technically factual. But the spirit from which they've received the information is demonic and not of the Lord. And you can find an example of this in Acts chapter 16, verse 16, when Paul cast a spirit out of a girl who was following him in Silas, yelling different things that were technically factual. But Paul discerned that it was not the Holy Spirit leading her to speak, but rather a spirit of divination. And so he cast that spirit out of her. He told her to keep quiet, shut your mouth. The main difference between a psychic and a prophet of the Lord is the source from which they get the information. The psychic gets their information from familiar and monitoring spirits in the kingdom of darkness. The prophet gets information from the Holy Spirit. Does it matter as long as the person, what they're saying is technically true? Yeah, it does matter. The source from which you get your information and choose to come into agreement with matters significantly. And if you come into agreement with false prophets, that may be the precise reason why you have yet to experience the manifestation of whatever the Lord has promised you. Spiritually, you're in covenant and agreement with the enemy and not God. So that's why you have to be very careful about the prophetic words that you, you type in amen and confirmation and you know, whatever else you guys are on YouTube typing, um, coming into agreement with um, these false prophets that are on here. My suggestion would be that no matter how much you feel like the prophetic ministry that you are currently um, subscribed to is of God, that you get before the Lord in prayer and ask for confirmation that this person is of him. I don't care who it is. I don't care how long you've been under them. And I don't care how accurate their prophetic words seem to be. He will answer you and I can testify to that fact. Okay. Um, once he reveals the truth to you, go from there. It may be a ministry that that is absolutely under his anointing, you know, absolutely under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And by all means, continue to allow it to bless you and to edify you and to encourage you. Of course, never spending more time uh, looking for prophetic words than you do uh, seeking the Lord in the secret place. Um, but yeah, if it's a ministry that, you know, is, is of God, God bless. But if it turns out to be a false prophetic ministry, you must immediately unsubscribe, repent, renounce every last prophetic word you came into agreement with, and Ask the Lord to give you the spiritual discernment that you are going to need in order to navigate through this absolute minefield. YouTube is a breeding ground for these despicable liars. I mean, like they are up on here doing the absolute most every day. Satan's time is short, okay? And for many babes in Christ, these YouTube prophets um, are a trap for you. They're a trap for you. And you know what? I take that back. Like a lot of times when I'm on here talking, I'm talking to babes in Christ, but you'd actually be surprised how many veterans, how many people who've been saved for a really long time are being taken for a ride around a parking lot by these liars, It's weird, it's not just babe, babes in Christ. So I take that back. Um, if you're in Christ, it doesn't matter if you just got saved earlier today or if you've been saved for the past hundred years. Um, some of you are really deceived and you're following and subscribing and coming to agreement with the spirit of divination and you don't even know it. 
Okay. And the reason is because you don't have sound biblical knowledge or the spiritual discernment required to be able to readily identify these counterfeits. So in this moment, I just genuinely wanted to take the time to do my part as your sister to warn those of you who are desperate for a word from the Lord all the time. I know what it is to want to hear from God. I know what it is to want to hear from God, to feel like, Lord, I need you to tell me something. Please just tell me something. Show me something. I know what it is to feel that way. That's a dangerous space to be in, right? The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but with prayer and supplication, make your requests known. Chill, chill out. Tell the Lord what you need. Ask him for what you need and trust that whatever you need, he will bring it to you in due time, right? He will tell you what you need to know when you need to know it. Um, and he would tell you what he wants you to know according to if he feels you need to know. Like sometimes we want to know things and he's like, no, that's really none of your business. I'm not really trying to share the details of that with you because you can't handle that information. He's sovereign. He knows us. So the truth is, if we really want a word from the Lord, we need to open the Bible and we need to start reading it and we need to enjoy it. It is our daily bread because there is always an amazing, encouraging, relevant word from the Lord on the inside of those pages. That is his love letter to us. He is constantly talking to us through his word. Does that mean there are no, no prophets? There are no prophetic words anymore? No, that's not what that means. But it means that your first source should be the secret place in prayer with him, direct communication with him. And secondly, it should be the word of God. Some of you literally log on here every day waiting on bated breath until one of these false prophets uploads a video about how they went to heaven last night and were chilling with Jesus, right? All these visions, all these dreams, all these supernatural experiences every single day. Oh, I was in my prayer time and the spirit of the Lord came into the room and yo, y'all are doing too much. It's too much. It's too much. And what's sad is that like these people have tons of followers who just don't have a clue. Just absolutely Alicia Silverstone type clueless. <laughs> yeah, they're liars. Many of them are liars. They have been sent from the kingdom of darkness to deceive you in ways that you can't even imagine. And I am putting my heart and soul into this video because I'm serious about every last word I'm saying. You have been warned. You have been warned. Romans 1.17, Galatians 3.11, and Hebrews 10.38 are all a reminder that the just shall live by faith. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Matthew 16, 4 says, a wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign. And Hebrews eleven six 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So let me tie these all together. As followers of Christ, we are expected to live by faith. We are expected to walk by faith. We are not always going to know what God is doing. We are not always going to know the details of his plan. We are not always going to know the when, the where, or the why. We're not going to always know. In fact, the majority of the time, we're not going to know. And that's what it means by living by faith. Okay, faith is believing and hoping in what we cannot see yet. We are not supposed to be seeking and desiring to know every detail of our futures. Because if we knew all that was up ahead, it wouldn't require too much faith on our behalf, now would it? Right, so if God were to like download and tell you everything that's gonna pop off over the next, however long you're here in this earth realm, why would you need to have faith about anything? Why would you have to believe him for his plan for your life? You wouldn't. 
We are not operating in faith when we constantly need prophetic words spoken over our lives in order to keep us propped up and encouraged. You know, people are becoming more like prophetic junkies, you know, looking for that fix every day. Did so-and-so log on and post a video yet? You know, so I can know, you know, what thus saith the Lord? As though you don't have your own prayer closet you can get up in and see what the Lord wants to say to you. Every prophetic word is not for you. It's not. And some people just really don't understand that. And so not only are they coming into agreement with false prophets and these prophetic words, um, but some of these prophets may actually be speaking a prophetic word, but it ain't got nothing to do with you because it's not your season. You don't even know what season you're in because you have no personal relationship with the Lord on your own. You don't pray. You don't have any intimacy with him. Yeah, if it feels like I'm coming for your neck, I am, but I'm doing it in love. The reason why I emphasize um, Let me go back. We're not operating in faith when we're constantly looking for prophetic words, okay? Jesus said it is a wicked and adulterous generation that is always looking for a sign or some type of confirmation. And so the reason why I emphasize the word always is because the Lord knows that we're human. From time to time, we get battle weary, okay? And we're going to want to know what's going on. We're going to need the Lord to send some type of word of encouragement and confirmation um, to us through a prophetic dream, through um, a prophetic word, through a vision, through a song or a sign of some, of some type, right? The Lord knows that we will need that from time to time, and he does provide that. I can speak on that. He does. But by no stretch of the imagination should this be on a daily basis. It can't be. Because if it is, your faith will never grow. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. We have to learn to seek him diligently and know that he will reward us for seeking him before we go looking for prophetic words online. He is a rewarder of those who seek him diligently. Some of you are real diligent about seeking a word, but you're not seeking him for the word. You're seeking prophetess so-and-so, prophet so-and-so on YouTube. And God is not pleased. God is not pleased. So for any of you who are um, up to your neck in idolatry and you spend more time um, on YouTube listening to these prophets than you do in your prayer closet, Repent, seek the Lord, you know, seek the Lord. He's, he's the one with the scoop on you. He knows what's going on with you and he can give you the information that you need if he deems it necessary to give it to you, okay? God doesn't want us focused on knowing the future. He wants us focused on knowing him in personal relationship. He wants us to learn how to trust him. And when we feel led every single day to go looking for a prophetic word online, something is off base. Something is off base, something is not right, and we need to bring it back center. We need to bring it back center. Your answers come from the secret place, not these fraudulent prophets who claim to hear from the Lord all day, every day. Okay, here are the top five signs uh, that you may be following a false prophet. This, this um, list is clearly not all inclusive. There's, there's so much more I could talk about, but you know, in the interest of time, I just wanted to hit the top five. Um, number one is popularity. If they have thousands of followers, possibly hundreds of thousands of followers get before the Lord in prayer and ask about this person, okay? None of the prophets in the Bible, major or minor, were popular. People hated them, okay? People, their flesh, 
typically rejects God's true prophets because God's true prophets, majority of the time, they're saying, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. Come out of that fornication. Stop smoking that weed. Stop stealing. Stop lying. Stop gossiping. Um, the things that nobody wants to hear. That's what the true prophets of God are speaking. Okay. And people can't stand them and they're not popular. So if the ministry that you're following is super popular, you might want to get before the Lord and pray about that individual. Number two, if they upload videos every single day and have a word from the Lord or receive some type of vision, dream, or supernatural experience, pray about this person. Okay. God can do anything he wants and we will not put limits on him. Okay. It is quite possible that people are hearing from God every day. It is quite possible that perhaps they're, uh, you know, experiencing, you know, flying around heaven and seeing rainbows with Jesus every day. It's possible. But for me, those are red flags and the Holy Spirit has not steered me wrong. Anybody who's got a video every single day, sometimes some of these people come on there multiple times a day. Listen, no. Okay, that, that, that it just doesn't settle in my spirit. And um, my suggestion to you would be that before you receive these words as truth, that you get before the Lord in prayer and you just ask him. Number three, if there are countless ways for you to donate to their ministry, all right, so most of the time it'll be located like right under their description box or somewhere like they got the Zelle, they got they got PayPal, they got Cash App, they got like five million ways for you to donate to their ministry. They have some type of prophetic coaching ministry. Um, if they're selling books, if they're selling blessed oil, blessed cloths or towels that they claim that are anointed, and if you buy one, you'll be blessed too. Listen, get before the Lord and ask him about these people, okay? There is a husband and wife prophetic ministry on here and they are in Christ for real. They do not post every day. Their prophetic words are always a balance between encouragement and warning. And most importantly, people who are led by the Holy Spirit to donate to their ministry literally have to type in the comment section to ask for this married couple's email so that they can donate behind the scenes. There is no PayPal, Cash App, or anything, Zelle, or anything else listed on their page. They're not in it for the money. Okay? God's word ain't no hustle. Okay? They're not in it for the money. They speak according to the will of God, the word of God, and then they get up off of that channel. They're not posting every day. They're not. They don't, they don't make videos just for the sake of being seen. They're not. Okay. And those are the ministries that you need to follow. Those are people that are rooted in Christ and are doing it in the right spirit. And just so we're clear, the name of the ministry is called Place of Healing Ministries. Um, Brother Joe and Sister Nicole, they are absolutely beautiful. And they have blessed me immensely over the years. What else can I tell you? Number four. If this prophet only talks about, if this prophet only talks about breakthrough, finances, kingdom spouses, and new houses, I'm telling you point blank that you need to pray and seek the Lord about this person right away. As I said before, the end of the age is here, ladies and gentlemen. Christ is on his way back. His return is imminent. And God is most definitely talking about more than blessings right now. He's got more to say um, than new businesses, new houses, new cars, new babies, new husbands, new spouses. Like he's got more to say right now. We're living in a very critical time. Um, do not be deceived. Please do not be deceived. And to drill down into that a little more for number five. 
if they just started their page within the last year and change and the only prophetic words they have are about marriage or kingdom spouses, like their entire ministry, their entire prophetic ministry is zeroed in on kingdom spouses. Listen, get before the Lord in prayer and ask him about these people. Okay. Marriage is the modern day golden calf. It is the idol of the time. Okay. It's what people want to hear about most, specifically the single women. Okay. Who are tired of being single. They are running to every page that has anything about a kingdom spouse in the title. If you are wise, right? If you are wise, you will take notice to how many views kingdom spouse videos have. Okay. And so the reason why I want you to pay attention to the fact that if they've started their page within the past year and a half, a lot of people are starting these prophetic ministry pages based on kingdom spouses, just so the desperate will come to their pages. It's unfortunate, but this is what's going on right now. I said what I said. Okay. I'm not in the business of hurting people's feelings and I'm not in the business of, you know, harming anyone or being discouraging to anyone, but I'm also not in the business of allowing the enemy to deceive the body of Christ. Enough is enough. Everyone seems to think they have a God-ordained spouse en route to them. And some most definitely do, but not all. And sometimes when you want something to fit so badly, you will seek to get your ears tickled by people willing to tell you precisely what you want to hear. It is what it is. Be careful about this. Because if you didn't receive a word direct from the Lord about a kingdom spouse, then these prophetic words should mean absolutely nothing to you, no matter how much they feel like confirmation. These seeming confirmations mean nothing. Familiar spirits are real. Monitoring spirits are real. And if confirmation is what you seek, they will be sure to give it to you. Desperation opens the door to a myriad of demonic spirits to operate in your life. So if you are following a prophetic ministry that is only talking about kingdom marriages, get before the Lord in prayer and just make sure that you are within the will of God. Here's the thing. Some of you have actually been given a word of marriage from the Lord, and then you have attached yourself to false prophetic ministries, ministries that operate in the spirit of divination, and you have not gotten married yet. And that may be why. Get before the Lord. Some of you are coming into agreement with their prayers of divination because you don't know any better. Again, some of you have not seen the promises of God manifest in your life because you have come into agreement with spirits of divination through these false prophets. Some of you spend more time listening to these prophets than you do in prayer for yourself or reading the word of God. And some of you are flat out guilty of idolatry and won't receive this message because you need to like you, you have this need to follow and you think way too highly of the person whose ministry you are currently under. But I've done my job because you've been warned. Okay, Ezekiel 13, one through seven reads, and the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy and say to those prophesy out of their own hearts, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Oh, Israel, your prophets are like foxes in the desert. You have not gone up into the gaps to build a wall for the house of Israel to stand in battle on the day of the Lord. They have envisioned futility and false divination saying, thus says the Lord, but the Lord has not sent them. Yet they hope that the word may be confirmed. Have you not seen a futile vision and have you not spoken false divination? You say, the Lord says, but I have not spoken. Oh yeah. When you get some time, open up your Bible to Ezekiel chapter 13 and read it in its entirety. This is precisely 
what is going on today. This is precisely why I am making this video. Only, and it was, it's going on today, it was going on back then, only due to technology and social media, this wickedness is far more easily spread, far and wide, <laughs> okay? There are people over in Africa coming into agreement with false prophetic words being spoken over in, in America. There are people in China coming into agreement with, with false prophetic words that, that are being spoken in, in South America. It's a lot going on. The enemy's busy. Okay. And you want to make sure that you're not involved in this at all. The contents of this particular video may rub you the wrong way. If so, good. Good. If you feel convicted, wonderful. All right. If this doesn't apply to you, even better. This is a touchy subject for sure. And people get upset when you touch their idols, but I'm delivering the mail. And once I'm done, I promise to get off the porch. You know how they go back and forth about it. <laughs> I really don't. Um, it is, I feel such righteous indignation when I see some of these lying <laughs> prophets. Um, they're basically witches. They're witches. They're witches and warlocks. They are absolute liars. And people are in the comment section, amen, praise the Lord, confirmation. Oh, I know, I know this word for me. I received this word for me. Well, okay, you know, whatever works. Um, in closing, again, I just want to close with scripture. Um, it is a very sober in scripture, but it is the word of God. And uh, I think it applies. I think it applies a lot tonight. Um, so Jeremiah 17, 5 reads, thus says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. If you wake up in the morning looking for prophetic words on YouTube, Jeremiah 17, 5 is you. We have to do better. We have to do better. Resist the enemy and he will flee. There's nothing you need to know that God himself cannot tell you. And he will tell you. He will show you things. He will give you dreams. He will give you visions. They will come direct from him. And you will have a knowing in your soul that it came from the lover of your soul. You ain't got to go back and forth and wonder, is this of God? Is this from God? Well, yeah, I think so, because it kind of confirms this, or I was kind of thinking about this the other day. Here's the thing, here's, here's the worst thing. When you'll see a comment that'll say, oh, you know, I was thinking about that just the other day, and now you post about it. Yeah, because not every thought you have is your thought. Sometimes the enemy, and a lot of times, the enemy plants thoughts, right? So a familiar or a monitoring spirit comes to plant a thought, and then you just happen to see it on your favorite psychic slash YouTube prophets page. This is not a game. If you're constantly looking for a sign, the enemy will make sure that you find it. Please hear me. Please hear me well. Uh, that is all I have for you. And um, prayerfully, it has blessed you. If it has convicted you, wonderful. Um, more than anything, I pray that it has encouraged you and blessed you and empowered you to do something different if this applies to you. Um, other than that, be blessed and God willing, I will see you next time.